What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So the day is finally here. I never thought I would be saying this, but Elementary OS Luna has finally been released. I have a fresh install here from an ISO that I downloaded right from Ele Elementary's website. Um, you can go right over to elementaryos.org and download the ISO there. If you appreciate what the project is doing, um, be sure to go ahead and make a donation to let those guys know that uh, that you're supporting them and you appreciate all the hard work they put into the project. So uh, what's different in uh, this final release here as opposed to beta 2? I have been using this since last night and quite frankly I haven't really noticed any differences whatsoever. Um, the one thing that has been giving me trouble, and it's been giving me trouble for some time now, is music, uh, formerly known as noise. No matter what I do, I can't get it to import my music library. Now, I thought originally it was because I had my music on a separate hard drive, um, but I moved all my music to my main hard drive that I have my OS installed onto, and I still couldn't get it to import properly. Um, the application very, very frequently locks up on me, and I've had issues with it ever since, um, really, Beta 1. Actually, Beta 1, it, it worked quite well. Um, it hasn't been until really Beta 2 that it just does not work for me. Uh, if anybody else has been experiencing that, uh, go ahead and let me know. Um, you know, uh, everything's working very, very well. I've got my multiple desktops going here and my workspace switcher, everything's great. Expose works. And uh, by the way, during this video, if you see any blue flashing on my screen, especially when I do things like, you know, window overview and workspace switching, that has to do with the proprietary NVIDIA driver and my screen capture. So no big deal there. Uh, if I were to open this up, I'll do a quick uh, uname for you. Whoops. So I'm running kernel 3.10.5. I went ahead and I downloaded the source code right from kernel.org and I configured it specifically for my system and compiled my own kernel. Um, so I've got that installed because this does, uh, it is based on Ubuntu 12.04 and it comes with I think a 3.2 kernel. So it is pretty old. Uh, also, I have the latest and greatest NVIDIA drivers uh, installed here that I got from uh, Xorg Edgers PPA. I do have a video on how to install the latest and greatest uh, NVIDIA drivers using the Xorg Edgers PPA. So if you're interested, uh, check my channel. I do have that uh, video up. So I'm using 3.25.15. Uh, so far, the performance has been very, very good. Uh, let's see here. It is running a little hot. This is the warmest um, that my GPU has run in a while. Um, I am doing a screen capture, so it's going to uh, ratchet it up a bit. And I'm also, I have it clocked out at the maximum setting as well, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. Um, but I, I like a snappy desktop, so for me, um, not on a laptop, power consumption is not an issue for me uh, because I am on a desktop, so I have it maxed out here. I used my script that I recently did a video on, um, one of my bash scripting videos, to, let's see, scripts. I use my new Ubuntu uh, install script. So if you're interested in this script and what it does, go ahead and check out a video I recently just put up. Basically what it does is it goes through, it, it up, uh, updates my whole system, installs all of my commonly used applications, also automatically sets up uh, all my PPAs that I normally use. For instance, OpenShot here, which is what I use to uh, edit and render all my videos, is at the very latest version. Uh, the uh, founder and developer of OpenShot has a PPA set up, so I went ahead and updated to the latest version of OpenShot. Also, whoops, don't need to do that. GIMP, got the latest version of GIMP. This should be 2.8.2. Um, oh. oh, I'm sorry, 2.8.6. 
So that is the latest version of GIMP, and I have that installed via PPA. And what else? Oh yeah, Handbrake. I have Handbrake installed as well, and I did that from uh, from the PPA. Aside from the noise bug, a couple other things I did notice is if you want to delete something, the delete option is no longer there. It just has moved to trash, which is kind of annoying for me. I hate having to keep going into my trash and emptying it out. Also, I mentioned this prior, but um, Pantheon Files here, which is the file manager, no longer has uh, a way to actually configure any options. There used to be kind of this little gear icon and you can go into your preferences. Uh, it really would be nice to be able to change preferences right from here. Um, instead, if you wanted to change any preferences, not just for Pantheon files, but really for anything else, you can go into uh, Deconf Editor or you can use G Settings via the terminal. I also have uh, the window animations all sped up, so everything pretty much opens instantly. Um, the animations are very nice and elementary, but for me, they take just a little bit too long. So I like things just opening instantaneously. So I went ahead and um, made some modifications to that. I also have a video on that as well. Um, aside from that, everything's running really, really well. Um, I can't wait for Luna Plus One. Hopefully it doesn't take uh, uh, two years for that to come out. But, you know, the team did a lot of, a lot of work here in Luna. Read their blog. You can really get a lot of good information from the elementary blog that's right on their website. It kind of lets you know um, all of the growing uh, that the project has done over the last couple of years, different directions they took, why they took them. Um, some really, really interesting, interesting stuff. So again, uh, fresh install, everything's running really, really well outside of music, which is a shame because aesthetically, I think it looks gorgeous. I think it's an awesome um, music player. I just wish it worked. Um, but it does freeze up on me all the time. It uh, basically goes into a not responding state and I have to force quit the application. But um, other than that, in terms of features, there really isn't any new quote unquote features um, since the beta. So if you come in here into system settings and go into about, it's gonna say version 0 0.2. Uh, however, this is the final version. So don't let that number uh, fool you. This is the final version. If you download the ISO from the from the elementary website, you're going to get the latest and greatest version there. Um, no other new features. They just squashed a lot of bugs. So everything's working really great out of the box. I do have a custom theme here for Plank, which I got from the community manager, Cassie James's DeviantArt website. This is called Jupyter Redux. And I also uh, set the doc size to a custom size, which is... Um, in my case, 27 pixels. I think it's just right for my monitor. I have a 27-inch um, a LED monitor. And for whatever reason, I, I think that this size is a little bit better. Other than that, you have these kind of default settings here. Um, but that's it. This is by no means an exhaustive review of elementary OS Luna. However, I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, what the final looks like, which is really no different than the beta and let you know how it's running and it's running really really well again i had to update the kernel because the other one was just far too old and i did install the proprietary nvidia driver which is the very latest and greatest one again check out my video on how to do that and aside from the issues i'm having with noise or music everything else is working really great all the hot corners are working just as they should i think everything looks awesome uh, aesthetically, it's it's really, really nice, and I just expect great things um, more so in the future from the elementary team, and I'm really happy that the project finally uh, went to stable release. So, you know, beyond this kind of just mini update letting you guys know that the project went to final release, if you want a full exhaustive review, um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but really, I don't think I would say too much more than what I've said already in this video, other than the fact that if you've been using the beta, uh, the beta 2, you're really not going to notice any difference um, between beta 2 and the final release. Again, just squashing bugs. I have really, really wish um, I would have been able to set up an encrypted volume during installation. However, uh, that didn't um, 
present itself as an option until Ubuntu 12.10. So uh, I wasn't able to actually set up uh, an encryption uh, during install, unfortunately, which would have been something that was really, really nice. However, um, everything else is working great. I, I really like it. I can't wait to see further development in the custom elementary apps. And I know they're working on a software center, and I know we've already got plans for Luna Plus One. I'm expecting development to move a lot quicker from here forward, only because they've done the majority of the heavy lifting already. And I know I've said this before, but I, I guess I'll officially say it again. I really do appreciate everything the elementary team has done and continues to do. Um, they've provided me with an operating system that I feel at home with, I enjoy using. It meets all my needs. And in the midst of kind of this Linux limbo with all the different um, desktop environments and everybody kind of going through all these weird growing pains, elementary has been home for me. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully through my channel and kind of me just putting the word out there about how great this is, I can do my part to give back uh, to the project itself. So that's about it, guys. I hope you like this video. If you haven't already, go to elementaryos.org and grab yourself the final stable release of Elementary OS Luna. All right, guys, as always, you're awesome. Thank you for watching, and until next time, we will catch you guys later.